Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you the finale of my little March Mini Madness um, project use up, makeup use up, skincare, hair care use up, everything use up. Um, so this will be a quick video. Heard in my uh, my anything? I'm I just really don't feel well, so I'm just gonna kind of zip through this video. Yeah, you want to be part of this video? So I used up the Bobbi Brown little concealer packet, and I also have two of the Born This Way foundation samples. One was way too light, one was way too dark. Um, I really did like the Bobbi Brown concealer. It's not something I would buy again just because it's so expensive and I don't think it's necessarily better than anything else I'm using. But, um, but I did like it. The Born This Way, despite the color issues, I, that was a foundation I really wanted to use um, and try out and I just wasn't like super impressed. One I really do like is this uh, Taint Miracle from Lancome in the color 260 and I just had like that tiny little bottle sample and um, I really did like that foundation. Uh, that's one that if I had no foundations maybe I would use it. It lasted a very little bit, went a long way. I hate when people say that but it's true. Um, and I really like the way it wore on my skin. So, yeah, I did use those. Um, sorry, guys. I did use this Paracone MD 7 Day. These are like little mini foil packets. Um, and this was the cold plasma and face I guess. I didn't see any kind of results with my wrinkles, with my skin quality, like nothing. It was just, I mean, it's a 7 day sample and... I don't know. I just didn't see like a huge, huge difference. Thank you. Um, okay. This is gonna, oh, sweetie. <laughs> Garbage. Garbage. I use these Mary Kay Satin Hands. Or I had a bunch of these and um, just decided to start using them. And I actually re really do like them. There is the L'Oreal Total Repair Reconstructor Shampoo. I actually really do like that shampoo also. And I have a whole bunch of these little black clay, black clay blackhead remover face mask things um, from Aven Avenka. So yeah, I know that's like super messy, but um, I was not a fan. I mean, it's not that I'm not a fan. I'm just not like super impressed with them. And I have a lot more to go, but I did use up a bunch of them. I want to put the baby down. Um, no, I'm not. Once my husband walks in, I'm going to put her down. Do you want to help? Let's show something we didn't finish. Oh, these are the Living Proof hair packets. It's like shampoo and conditioner. And there's a whole bunch of them. And I just didn't use them because I love Living Proof. And I keep saving them for like a good occasion. And I was like, I'm just going to use them. And I still didn't use them. It's like, what the heck is wrong with me? What the heck is wrong with mama? So here let me let mommy grab a few things to talk about okay here these and then i'm going to zip this up and you can play with the bag okay um so this is the sephora waterproof eye makeup remover however which i did finish um there was actually the bosha chemical exfoliating cream serum whatever in here and i used that up it's something else that i was just using up and i don't know why because i have the bow shop in a full size sorry guys I like see this is why i never get to film because <laughs> my vibe is crazy you're cray cray um also i used the clarisonic deep pore detoxifying clay mask i actually liked this um i really like masks though living proof texturizing volumizer i used up really do like that CeraVe, i really liked this this is the healing ointment i use this on my lips um also i had the eva nyc hungry hair oil treatment which i love all hair oils the rest of these are all like samples so talk about march mini madness um i did use this new booster detox from clarins and these were just like little tiny samples in here um but they came with a few of these packets. Ouch. Um, I don't know. I think I just used two. I think I have, and I'm using one right now. It's these guys also. And um, this is the Clarence Multi-Active SPF 20. It's like a day cream. Um, the smell of this is really interesting. I don't know if I like it or hate it. <laughs> 
but again you know my thing i i feel bad just kind of like telling you like oh this is what i used up or didn't use up but honestly a lot of these things I, I feel like i can't have a real opinion on because they're just like little tiny samples especially when it's just like two little packets or one but the day cream um it was it was a fine day cream it was a fine day cream um i did use up these ugh, something's leaking we did in our boxy charm this last month get this south main three eye gel pack and I used those and they were just like those silicone kind of little patches you put there. And it says for best results, use them three days in a row. Um, I don't know what kind of results, like long lasting results you're ever going to get, to be honest. But I do like them. They were very cooling, um, really refreshing. I did like them. I'm not going to lie. I'll say I liked it. Uh, also, this KNC Beauty All Natural Collagen Infused Lip Mask. <sighs> All of these things are like leaking everywhere. It's gross. I mean, it's just serum, right? Um, but we got this in our last FabFitFun. So the winter FabFitFun. And we got this before in a boxy charm. So there's a, it's a pack of five. And I think, or a pack of, yeah, it's a pack of five. I have two to still use. And I have two that I'm giving to my mom. Um, I like them, but guys, like, they're really hard to lay on my lips and I don't know if it's because I have like bigger lips you know and because they just don't like lay on my mouth <laughs> but whatever these are those living proof things I haven't used so and like these little towelettes I didn't use either I have a little lavender and white tea one I have two of those and then a love fresh uh, instant cooling body soother like oh, I just keep keeping these around uh, from when I actually need them in a pinch, but I feel like I've had them for over a couple years and I haven't had a pinch. Um, this was the cleansing balm from Clinique, the take the day off cleansing balm. And I had that so you could see that sample. It was like a bubble. And um, I did really like it. It did take the day off, um, especially eye makeup. However, I don't, I didn't see like a big difference between that and like coconut oil. <laughs> you know, it's just, it is what it is. And I wanted to save these two guys for last because it's the Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment and then the Sephora Mask Mud Mask Purifying and Mattifying. Very similar. They go on really wet. You put them on on a thick layer. They're like that gray charcoal color with like little bits of seaweed or something or other in there. And it's like really dark. And then as it dries, it turns like a lighter gray and looks ashy. And then you can see like the oily spots, like the, pur the impurities coming out of your skin. Um, I actually liked the Sephora one better. I love Glam Glow. Um, I used to use it a lot. I had like the face wash, all that kind of stuff, but I haven't purchased anything recently because I have so much stuff, but it's something that now I'm like, well, I really, I wouldn't use, I wouldn't buy it again. Um, I would use it, but I wouldn't buy it again, even though I like it. I would just get the Sephora one. Even if it's like 20, 25 bucks, the Glam Glow was like, 50 or above you know so um that's that i am working on this clinique thing which looks like nothing because it's a packet um it's just the little wrapper but it is a face wash in the like a bar form and it's a little mini guy i'm working on that that'll take me forever i'm sure i do have an eye cream i'm working on and um oh my serum to lighten my my spots which it has been working and i forgot the name of it i'll try to put it in the info bar below if i remember if not just watch the previous video like the intro to this um little march mini madness use up thing and um and then some like perfume sprays i'm almost done with two of them so the like, little sample ones that we get from like boxy charm and stuff like that that are like have a little pump so that's it <laughs> I mean, it's not like amazing. I didn't use up like a ton of makeup, but I actually did use up a good amount of samples and I am super excited to throw them all away. So, and I'm going to keep doing this. So I think what I'm going to do, you know, thumbs up or comment down below if you think that I should just like keep focusing on my samples um, and trying to use them up and then maybe just posting pictures on Instagram with like little mini reviews if I have thoughts on them because I used to do that and I feel like it's something that I should kind of just start doing again um yes so 
let me know what you guys think. So these are all the little samples that I've used up. And there's like a whole bunch of like little jars and containers in there also. So all of this. So I'm proud of myself. I'm happy I got some stuff out of my collection. I used up a bunch of stuff. And, um, and now I have a bag of all the skincare that I used up. And I'm going to film that shortly. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay beautiful and stay blessed. Bye guys.